Oh, there's... I thought Mike had stolen all the uranium. There's no uranium in his car. I think you made up that thing about Mike stealing uranium. I don't think it's at all true. But he did take the last of the uranium to, with which to, uh, to build this vehicle. Perhaps the problem was just that we didn't have much uranium. So, yeah, Rev, if you yes. come to the middle of the three smaller hangars... Yes. There is a rather useful looking drone in here that could be fixed up. Sure. Yep. Happy, it well, needs the happy engines to. repairing and something like that. I mean, like it looks like this is a fighting drone. I was I was actually just thinking about literally just a utility pick things up drone. So just a workhorse, but sure, we can we can use this if you like. I mean, it can be both. If yeah. someone paste the coordinates of the ice thingy, because one problem last time was I joined after you had received the coordinates, which is why I spent the whole game going, where are you, where are you? And Doug saying, go to the ice mine. And me not knowing where that was. Done. Oh, who rebuilt Big Daddy? Me. Um, but that was what I did for about the last hour of the last game, if you recall. So, uh -huh. so, that, so how do I get that back then? How do I, how do I get that down what in my the hour? GPS? You can't get an hour back. It's gone. <laughs> Okay, I can see. Sorry, that's the lost now. I'm going to delete the coordinates Heaney crashed the big D. Are you thinking that we can just stick a reactor or uranium into this fighter and then use it? Well, no, because we are we are out of uranium is one of our main problems at the moment, Mr Heaney. Mm -hmm. I'm not oh, sure yeah. we are. I'm, I'm speaking, I'm speaking hypothetically. No, it, it, needs, it needs repairs. Also, like, I think this battery is full, but it needs repairs and it needs some things, like, taking ownership of. Yep. Well, I think if we have a couple of people on the big rover, that will be that will be helpful. Well, I was thinking of doing it with RCX. Sure. And then after we've finished, we'll come and build the rover. <laughs> he, he's not even smiling. He's just fed up with my bullshit. I'm sighing, Dan. Sighing with how predictable that was. No, I think I'm going to make the little ship, the Trinity Porter ship. Uh, it will not have enough thrust to p pick anything up. No, I, as in I was going to put some more thrusters on. Okay, you, like because rev... the other ship already has four large thrusters. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was why you thought it was a good Trinity Porter ship, dear. Yeah. How okay. are you defining For... Trinity Porter ship here? Well, I wanted something which would just go around picking, like picking stuff up, so we could, which would help us for building purposes. This is this is much more an actual fly it around and shoot dudes ship. I I feel. I mean, we can use it. That's I don't done, think it is, because, like, as far as I can see, it's only got the um, turrets on the top. Okay. Whereas, if you want to be attacking bases and stuff, the turrets would need to be underneath. Can you fly sure. upside down? I think it's more of a general utility okay. ship. Fine. Would anyone like... Okay. Well, I'm going to make the Trinity Porter ship in that case. Uh, you do, Ian. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I try and enter Mike's cryo chamber while he's still in it. <laughs> what? I mean, well, you, you can't. You? Well, we just won't let you. Uh, yeah. Where is our assembler, Doug? Uh, in the first hangar. In the first hangar. I'm going um, to be nice and gentlemanly and not try and find out what happens if you grind down Mike's cryo station while he's still in it. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect I probably die. <laughs> or just respawn like not in there. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like any of these hangars as a starting point. Maybe I will build from scratch. Well, don't don't destroy the middle hangar whilst I'm working in it. No. For, for God's sake. No. <laughs> what do you think, RCX? If you're going to be working with me on it, I would go for building from scratch. Cool. That's that's the best way. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a big landing gear right there, Dan. Yes, it's for the building a big rover. Okay, so are all three of you building a big big rover now? No. Sure, I'm going in. No. It can be a bit difficult to not grind the floor. As yeah, I'm just going to grind the floor there because it's... <laughs> um, what size wheels do we want on our large rover RCX? 3x3 three three or 5x5? Five 5. Five. I think it's got to be 5, right? It's a question of how much like resources we have to make something proportionate, but... Yeah, it could go for 5x5. 5x5. Five five. Five five. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see you're nicely rebuilding. The, you, you're trying to actually make this ship usable, Rev. Yeah, that, that, that's my job. I'm turning this into the trip. This will be the trip we bought the ship. Uh, so, question two. Yes. How are we going to fly it out of here? We're we just going to chop down the building. No, I'm going to drive, fly it through the door. 
It's wider than the door. Nope, it will be fine. It will be 100% fine. If it's wider than the door, we will destroy the door. <laughs> Are you saying we're short of power cells still, then? Uh, no, you're the only person Richard. saying that. Um, I believe okay, so yes, if I would like some power cells, where, where will I get them from? Let me try that as a question. Because I can't build them the assembler because we don't have nickel or cobalt. Or... Yeah, you can de disassemble you want... stuff. That, that's right. That's exactly what I was asking. Do you want me to disassemble something to, to do that? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Okay. Uh, also, Thank we you. do have power cells. They're just still yeah, in the there's, rover. There's 41 oh, okay. in um, this. Well, it's transferring here. all this stuff Thank over. Thank uh, RCX, how wide do we want this rover to be? Uh, how wide is a piece of string? Um... <laughs> how, how wide enough not to roll over? Um, is that a possibility? As wide yes. as the entire planet. <laughs> Do not roll over the rover. <laughs> the big <laughs> rover. Yeah, that would be uh, bad. Um, so did, did you say you had to remove the power cells? Oh, I, can't remember the power cells. Uh, I don't know. Like You could probably go like um, seven, seven blocks wide. Jeez, you guys really make me regret asking. <laughs> seven blocks wide? And no, I you've got to bigger than that, haven't you? Yeah, that remember, this is large and not small, remember? Yeah, yes. I know, Mike. This, 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 we, we want proper big. Large grid, okay, then. I've made it nine. Okay, so what should I you be doing? Do you want to join the rover construction team? There is another project that we haven't started yet. Oh, okay. Which is oh, yes. okay. a more capable small grid rover for fighting. Yeah, okay. good, yeah. Point. good point. Uh, could we adapt Mike's existing rover for that? Uh, yep. Um, okay. Or the desert bus, maybe, because I don't think we're going to need the desert bus when we have the large grid rover. Maybe we could keep the desert bus intact for now, because we might see yeah. a convoy that we want to take out before we finished all of this. Okay. I mean, I, I can have a go at upgrading my rover. I think my rover is... It's a good hmm. starting point. Yeah. So Let what do we actually want for a fighting rover? I guess guns, obviously. Yeah, turrets. Uh, if it's a fighting thing, are we going to want people... Is, is it a fighting thing we want to be able to transport people, or is it a fighting thing where it's just one person goes out? Mm, I would maybe put a sec... What, like a cockpit okay. and one more seat on it. Okay. Because it's it's usually Final useful to have... In 27.6 million years, Spotless will be torn apart by gravitational forces, leading to the creation of a ring around Mars. I think she's telling us to hurry up. <laughs> Uh, I started building this at the wrong end of the base. Well, just drive it around the other end when you're finished, right? Yeah, but when I'm finished, I won't need to drive it around the other end. Indeed. Indeed. Now, if this is intending to be a picky uppy thing, are we intending it to be a grab on with the loading thing and just carry stuff below it, sort of Correct. picky uppy? That, that was my idea for picky uppies, yeah. Picky uppies. Is this a baby talk stream now? Uh, I have also lightened the ship by taking off some of the heavy armor, then. So. Oh, good, yeah, you won't want the heavy armor. It's pretty useless on flying ships. Well, presumably it provides good armor, but yeah. It also provides weight. Indeed. Lots of weight. So it also provides heavy, is what you're saying. Um, am I going to want better armor for this, or will the normal armor be f okay? So what you could do is you could have a front wall to d deal with an incoming gunfire. Is now the right time to start talking about how armor works? Stroke does sure. uh, uh Yes, probably. Well, when something comes along, if I you've got something be. in the way... So, light armor actually, in most circumstances, has the opposite effect to armor. What do you mean? Well, because when you shoot armor blocks, uh, along with many blocks but not most of the functional blocks. It deforms. You've probably seen that already. You get the like yes. twisted scraps, right? When it deforms, it damages the blocks adjacent to it. Okay. Uh, and the damage can be more than the shots that it took to deform it in the first place would have given. Okay. So putting armor between a functional block, like putting armor around a functional block, directly touching it, to block incoming fire is more likely to make that component explode. Okay, but putting it 
Thank so, you for telling me how to sabotage the ship. I mean, what? Uh, okay, so what would be the correct thing to do then? You just don't. You just have armor surrounding that's not touching the actual functional stuff. Uh, Basically. So, yeah, you could have a, a like a one block gap between any armor and functional components. Obviously, you can't do that all the time because like, yeah. the, some of the components to need to be stuff. touching each yeah. other. Yeah. Um, Mr. You Mr. can Hini. just not put armor. What's the alternative to armor? Well, like no empty armor. space. Yeah. Okay. If you're yeah. worried about so protecting be, yeah. functional blocks, it's perfectly fine to just have your functional blocks on the outside. Okay. You can also use blocks that don't deform. Oh, you can't go around that way. Um, this Gatling gun will never be useful. Okay. Sit in the cockpit and look at where your Gatling gun is pointing. Me? No, Mike. Mike. It's... Oh, is it like straight at the ground? <laughs> like, you can shoot me now. You wouldn't be able but to shoot the like, okay. like building you're attacking. You certainly would be able to okay. shoot the turret on top of the building. Okay, so basically you don't... So is it just... There's no point in using that type of Gatling gun, effectively? Not on a rover. You can use it on a spaceship or something. You know, where you're actually okay. manoeuvring and you can turn yeah, to face yes. the opponent. Okay. okay. Yeah, so the, the other way to armor thing is to use blocks that don't deform. Yeah. Um, windows don't deform. Okay, interesting. And <laughs> there is a block... That's. Uh... I guess it makes sense to use armor that if it's not touching, but not if it's touching, basically. I mean, just use the armor decoratively. The the idea is okay. to create the shape of your rover, not to use it as armor. There's a bit outer skinny, yeah. So yeah, so the other thing that doesn't deform is blast doors. Okay. Blast door <laughs> blocks don't deform, so they make quite good armor. I am at the medical bay, so um, what waypoint are any of you at? Or Wait, which medical bay did you spawn at? Sorry. Um, oh, not this one. Uh, unsure. Uh, the one that was on the map owned by RCX, I believe. Uh, well, you're not hmm. here. Uh, it's probably the old one. Um, yeah, probably the old one. Uh, that might be a bit difficult. Uh, okay. Uh, we could uh, come and give you a lift. Are you at the ice mine? It doesn't look very icy around here. Uh, no, the, uh, the ice mine is it's underground. Like a big hole. Oh, uh, I know it's called the ice mine unless you were here for the coordinates uh, of the ice mine. I it's don't here. believe so. Um, Can you put a marker to show where you are? Yep. Oh, is it that unknown signal three kilometers away? No, it no. looks like the ice mine. Okay, I'll go grab her and try not to crush the thing this time. Oh. I'll, try, I'll, try, I'll try the big daddy and see how it goes. Let me just let me just empty the big daddy of relevant objects. Oh, also it doesn't feel like it's got any uranium in it, so... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, so we're purely on battery power because... Uh, I believe we should have, we do have uranium in the, um... Uh, in our stores. You should have enough battery to get... I'm uh, pressing I move, and it's not moving. No, you must close uh, the two. Are the handbrake's on? So one, the handbrake is on, but two, please don't. I'm just trying to empty out a few things I might need. Okay. For, um, you should be able to drive it really slowly with the handbrake on. That would be funnier. Bye. Please do not crash it this time, because as we established, I did spend an hour rebuilding it off the last time you drove it. <laughs> well, I guess at least Suzy's he's used to this. Well, at least Suzy's so used to... Used to... I, I was, well, I'm assuming she used to being driven by him. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry, are you saying that it was you not being used to being driven that caused my no, I, I'm saying that at least Suzy's not going to be, like, overly Surprised shocked. Surprised yeah. smoking. <laughs> <laughs> am I filling in the whole bottom of this rover? I think I am. I feel like it would be cooler if we could just lift off the roof of one of these uh, one of these hangers and drop it in. Did you put any spare bottles in the um, fat boy or whatever it's called? I did not. Ah, that probably Why? would have been useful. Why? Why is that? Because you do have oxygen. Oh, you don't have oxygen, do you? You just have to drive quickly. <laughs> uh, you both, you're both gonna die. You know that, right? So it's, it's all right. We can yeah, 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 yeah. We can be <laughs> Also, I've still got 78% oxygen, and now I've only got 10 kilometers to go. 
That doesn't sound too great for my odds. Actually, I don't seem to be losing power or oxygen when I'm in the cockpit of Big Daddy. Well, you won't lose power, will you? Because you're being fed by the, uh, by the cockpit. You're being fed by your Big Daddy. <laughs> this time, I'm going the sensible way around and not just trying to take Big Daddy straight over the top of the mountain. Thank you. That, that would be appreciated. <laughs> I see you, Rev, have started to encounter Ed being a scamp and it being extremely infuriating. Well, I, 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 I mostly blame Mike for the last... Um, so, sorry, we don't have... Do we have anything that contains silver? Probably not. I don't I'm, think so. I'm in so. the medical bays, but you're not breaking those down. No, I'm not going to break down the medical bays, sure. Why do you want silver? Uh, because we're out of reactor components. Yeah. Might have to just wait yeah. for a reactor component shipment. Uh, well, we also need gravel, which is also a bit awkward. Because there's not much stuff that has, like, gravel as a component. Well, you Will can just build a hole in the ground and get the ice gravel. Pack. No, you can't, can you? No, you get stone. You need the, uh, the refinery. Do we have anything that has more than one reactor on it? Oh, we don't even have uranium anyway, so it's not that useful, I suppose. Yeah, we do have uranium. You I mean, you, do? you don't okay. need a reactor. Ah. I do because the more, well, my batteries are flat, aren't they? I, well, I can oh, put it in the main room. Oh, you haven't put the brakes on. Oh, God, what have you done? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I, the batteries do have charge according to the K menu. Okay, well, you'll be fine then. You say that, but then my thing isn't going anywhere. Is that, you say uh, to... fuck, where's my I mean... men menu gone, bugger? I just pressed something and now I can't. I'm, I've lost all of my like stuff at the bottom, all my dialogue and you everything. Press tab. Probably fine. Press it again. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, who's shooting? Oh, that would be me. Stop shooting. Okay, what am I shooting? Can any, it's, sorry, he needs not here with me, so I can't. I have no assistance. I, uh, I think you're shooting at one of the broken drones in the first hangar, maybe? No, I think I'm shooting holes in the ceiling of my hangar, which is not so helpful. Hang on. Let me turn off the guns. I think it may just be that the hangars are, like, not controlled by us or something. Sure. Right. So, do you want to just check me for clearance on leaving the building, Dan? Uh, mm, you have zero clearance, both sides. Uh, <laughs> you mean negative clearance, or do you mean zero clearance? No, I, I actually, now you're a bit closer. I think you have negative clearance on both sides. I, do ha I have very negative. Who built this stupid hangar? Okay, right. We'll, we'll fix Robots. That. Ah. That will do. Thank okay, you. So oh, thank you. Oh, shit, my inventory's full. I'm dropping stuff. That's fine. We'll pick it up later. Ah! Gonna buzz you. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Please, please don't please break don't our break rover me. before I've even <laughs> built it. Uh, that, that didn't sound very good. Uh, it was a, a slight bit of damage has been. Uh, uh, <laughs> I heard a. I heard something go bang. You lost one of like... your large thrusters. I have. You are correct on that, Dan. If only I had had. I mean, it's the... not lost. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> the scrap of it, anyway. Right, I'm good to go and park again and finish. Uh, finish repairing again. Finish re <laughs> you might need to be a bit lower to get through the holes that I poked no, in no, the I, wall. I, I know, I just. Oh, lightning, lightning, there's a thunderstorm. Is that bad? If it is, if it hits you. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, he, he just slammed it into the I've ground. I've got a ton of scrap <laughs> from. Oh, a ton of scrap from your stupid engine. <laughs> Ooh, I have 38% oxygen. That missile container and shipment is probably uh, quite valuable. You ready? So Want to go to oxygen. get that? I am quite tempted to. Says, so how's your oxygen? Okay, oh, uh, 27. The, uh, desert bus. Ooh. Uh, I don't want me to come with you and use a gun. Yeah, sure. Okay, let okay. me just get rid of my components. Is ah. the desert bus still parked at base? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, but, but not for much longer. Ah. What's the, what's the, where's the, where's the oxygen thing that's not on the desert bus? It's in the... It's in the first bay. hangar, the same place it's been the whole time. Yeah. I haven't been to that one, I've only been to the one on the desert bus. Where have you been getting your components from? Oh, so it's in the same place as the components with Bay in the hat, got it. Because Susan and I will need it super soon. 
Uh oh. What? Oh! Oh! Yes. What happened? Uh, we don't want to go uh, to the airbase. Oh. Mike, are you not going with them? I don't. Mike, are you? Uh, I don't have a gun, and I can't find a gun, so... Just, 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 just check back off them, check back off them. Oh, there's one on the desert bus. Oh, you can. no. Yeah, just, just check, check um, back to them. Hang on, check hang on. Them. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, do you need me? Well, I think I've got yeah, that one oh. Hey, guys. Oh, Big Daddy's upside down. Oh, oh for sake. Oh, yeah. Daddy, what <laughs> We're in a gigantic hole in the okay. ground. Turret are active. Oh god, what did you do, right? <laughs> uh oh. Well, we're still a bit close to the. Right. Uh... No one else is allowed to drive that vehicle if we recover okay. it. So that <laughs> oh, where is it? We're headed there. Right. 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 We're headed to the cool, friendly signals seven kilometers in that direction. We, we are going to die. Ah, uh, that okay. drone's down. Good. Giving the airbase a uh, wide burst. Yeah, well, wider than it was before, I hope. <laughs> okay, I have spawned somewhere. Uh, a bigger Fantastic. place. Sorry? How did you do that? I died. How? Very hard. What do you mean, how? By dying. I mean, how do you kill yourself? Oh, it's um... Back space, but... It spawned me in the uh, hello, air. Sis. Hello! Hello, uh, are it's... you going to... <laughs> Now retrieve the vehicle you have crashed in the, the in the desert of Mars. Oops. Yeah, did you put a GPS on the crash site? Nope. It's seven. Can you, can you go back and get yeah. it? Oh, that's, you, it's going to take you a long time to find it, then, isn't it, Ed? It's not. It's, it's, it's directly in the direction of the old place, seven kilometers that way. Well, it's, it's, it's seven kilometers. From enjoy here, your walk. Now oh, this shipment appears to be airborne. It does indeed. Well, I would rather you went and got back my rover. Okay. <laughs> anyway. uh, that's kind of Ed's, I mean, to be fair, that's kind of Ed's job. It is. Kind I of don't mind going for it. I just, I just don't want to cause more problems. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to turn it upside down again. Oh, you just do it the way I did it before, which is you build cantilevers, and that's it's quite yeah. fun, actually. Give uh, you a hint, not uh, pistons, Ed. I'm not doing okay. much to it. All right, I'm going to head up to it. Oh, I'm hitting it, it, I'm hitting it. Okay, good. Well, oh, it's, it's coming down. down, it's coming down. Okay, don't. Stop, stop firing. Don't stop. Stop! Oh, I'm oh. stopping! You can stop shouting. I was already doing it. Well, it was like, I not know. obvious. Is it safe? Can I bring in the, the desert bus closer? Uh, hang on. Safe, I think. Oh, you left the handbrake on. What know. the hell happened to my reactor? It was there working before, and it's somebody's ground right. it down. Oh, I'm still short of parts. All right. Okay, that doesn't answer the question, Rev. Okay, well, currently I cannot make this thing work because I've not I've run out of reactor parts. Well you're not listening before Mike. You don't actually need a reactor on a rover. Just build a connector. That's what um, I'm trying to Yeah. Do. How do I do that? I mean you build a connector. <laughs> you go to the thing that says connector. Yeah. So think about like how you're gonna build the connector on the base that you're connecting it to and what that means for the height and the angle of this uh, connector. Oh reactor component shipment, yes we need that. Yes, we Let's need to comment, please. After one successful steal, next week we'll risk our prize by going for another, while Rev will be finishing off his Trinity Porter, and Ed has a long walk to go salvage the Big Daddy again. There's all that and more progress on the Big Rover, so subscribe now if you don't want to miss it.